everybody out there. How's it going today? Got me a Country Gentleman Corn Cob Pipe that I'm smoking today. Got it uh, loaded with some uh, Luxury Bullseye, which turning out to be very good. The purpose of this video is a video response to uh, Cousin Stuffy. Congratulations on the subs. Uh, I can see why you're getting them. I really enjoy watching your videos. Here's some. There's. I've got a whole list of people that I always look forward to every day. Oh, I got to get this one. I got to get this one. I got to get this one. And you're on the list. So I really enjoy watching you and your videos and uh, everything you do. And so um, for your contest, you ask a couple of questions. One, I got them wrote down here so I can remember them. What do I like to do in my free time? The majority of my free time, I like to, has to deal with guns. Call me a gun nut, crazy wacko, whatever you want to call me, I don't care, but uh, that's, that is more of a hobby to me than pipes and cigars. I enjoy my pipes and cigars, but if I can get out to the range and spend a day of shooting, guess what? I'm going to be out there. Uh, whether it's, and it doesn't matter. If it goes bang, I like shooting it. From uh, 22 rimfire to the, you know, the big 50 cows to, um, you know, semi-auto to lever to pump to whatever. Shotgun, black powder, I don't care. Big, small, in between. If it goes bang, I like to shoot it. And along with that, I like to reload my own ammunition. So buy all the components, buy the bullet, buy the brass, buy the powder, buy the primers, you know. And I, get, I like to get into the technical aspects of reloading. So when I'm coming up with a new load for a rifle, let's say, especially for a rifle where I want accuracy, like especially if I'm going to be hunting, because that's part of my free time is hunting, I'll get out there, I'll load in five round groups. I'll load up with a certain recipe. If you're into reloading, you'll know what I'm talking about. I'll load up a certain recipe of these components. I'll load up five of them. And then I'll shoot them. And I will clean the rifle completely, let it sit there and cool. I'll go measure the target. I take out a binder and I take notes on every single shot. I measure the brass when I'm done. I measure the ring, the length. I measure what I, what's called the pressure ring. So right up here around the edge, right where the primer is, ahead of that, I measure how much it will expand. I compare that to specs. I compare that to a factory round. And then I load up another set of five. Let those go down range. And after doing 10, 15, 20, you eventually find what's a good combination, what you like, what your rifle likes. And, you, and so that's what I get into. I like that technical aspect of it. So I love reloading for everything I can that's economical. There are a few cartridges that it's just, uh, at the time, it's uneconomical to reload for. So I like to shoot. I like to reload my ammo. I like to hunt. So if I can be out there hunting, I love to hunt. I don't care whether it's a rabbit or a squirrel, whether it's a, a crow, whether it's a varmint like prairie dogs. I love getting up here, I'll sit in the back of my pickup, stand in the back of my pickup with a rifle over the cab and, you know, shooting prairie dogs out there at a hundred, couple hundred yards away and just popping them off out of this guy's ranch because cattle, typically, if they step in one of those, it's not too good for their legs when they bust a leg or something like that. Coyotes. Um, and so one of, the, one of the guys we go deer hunting on, he says, if you see a coyote, you shoot it. I don't care about the deer, you shoot the coyote, and then you start shooting deer. So he wants them all out of there. And then I like to fish. So hunt, fish, shoot, reload. That's pretty much my uh, spare time. Of course, now I've added in there making YouTube videos, which is part of your question here in a minute. Second question, have I ever tried snuff, nasal snuff? I've never tried nasal snuff. I've dipped and chewed before, but I've never tried the nasal stuff, nasal stuff or nasal snuff, either one. I've never had any nasal stuff either. And so I don't have a favorite one. I've never I've never experimented with it. It's something that's a little intriguing. I'm curious about it, but I'm not, not sure I'm brave enough to do that yet. And so 
No, no nasal snuff, no favorite or least favorite, no good, bad, or ugly there. Now, as far as why I do the YouTube videos, and I'm kind of like you, I'm not doing it for vanity reasons. I'm not doing it because I, as you, if anybody's watched my videos, you know, I know nothing about this stuff. I know nothing about uh, pipes and pipe tobacco. I am starting at 100% ground zero and learning. And so, one, it's a learning experience. It helps me as a learning experience to talk it out sometimes. And, you know, I was a lurker for a long time. Just why, and that's what I used YouTube for, for forever. That was my main purpose to even watch a YouTube video was to learn. Look at how-to videos. How do I do this? How do I do that? Well, it could have been a recipe. could have been working on a vehicle. It could be repairing a computer board. I mean, whatever. That's what I use YouTube for. And so when I, got in, when I started deciding I might want to do pipes, I go to YouTube. How to? What is it about the pipe? How do I do it? What kind of pipe? What kind of tobacco? How do I get the tobacco in there? How do I light the thing? I had no clue about using a tamper or anything. And so that's what I used YouTube for. So after lurking for a long time and then seeing that, hey, there's a community of guys here that are always making videos. They're always talking together. They're always participating. And uh, it's like, you know what? I want to be involved in this friendship, in this community. And so that's why I do the videos, just to keep up with everybody. Um, whether I get one or two views on my video or 10 or 20 views on my video, you know what? It's not that big. Yeah, it's a little bit of an ego thing if you get a video that's got 50, 60, 70, 100 views on it. Uh, but you know what? That really that doesn't matter to me a whole lot. I do it for the friendship, the community, and to learn. And so it's a lot easier for me, rather than to type a question in a search box, how do I do X, Y, Z? Now I can bug you guys. I can get on here and say, you know what? I'm having an issue with whatever, and I can pose a question in video, talk it out, and then get either video responses, get a uh, comment or a message, a personalized response to that issue, not some generic. And so that's why I do it. And with that, I've gone over seven minutes. I'm going to let you guys go. I appreciate it. Uh, if anybody watching this has not subbed to Cousin Stuffy, go check him out. He's a pretty cool guy to watch. And I'll catch you guys later. Appreciate it.